Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make retractable casters for a table saw using recycled pallet wood and other recycled materials. Now this design could be used for any shop equipment that's heavy and that may have to be moved from time to time. And with a little modifications, it could also be used to move a, a shop table, anything that's on a pedestal that has to be moved. I'm using this reclaimed pallet wood. You see this board's a little thicker. I have a couple of two by fours off a of pallet. And for wheels, I had a coupon for $8 for a dolly at Harbor Freight. Now that dolly for $8 was less expensive than if I bought the wheels by themselves. When I got there, they were out of stock. I guess it was a great sale. People bought them up. When I told the uh, sales clerk what I was looking to do with the wheels, he said, oh, we threw one out back. Why don't you just go out there and get the dolly that we threw out? Well, here's the dolly that they threw out. It's cracked front and back. And I'm going to use the wheels off this dolly. So even the wheels are reclaimed on this. So I'm going to use recycled pallet wood, recycled wheels, and hinges, regular door hinges, to make this. I'm going to measure it out, cut it up. I'm not going to video measuring and cutting the wood and so on, but I will be back every time I complete a step. So sit back and enjoy. Oh, make sure to watch this video to the end to see how I incorporate this recycled tire. I had to stop a few times and I'm going to have to go out and get the chickens now. It's getting late, but this is what I got done so far. I measured these out, the long pieces, short pieces. I just put two screws from each side. I screwed them in on the ends. I cut these angled pieces of wood out. They're screwed from the bottom up. They're gonna hold the legs of the table saw, plus they support the corners. So all four corners are taken care of. The next step is gonna be Cut in the slant of dolly to fit in here. Now this is a, this would have made it if we didn't need these supports. Another, another option is to put these wheels on the outside and hinge them this way. And when you need it, just push them down. Something to hold it down on the outside. But I want to do it on the inside. That's how I originally planned it, and I like to go with that direction. So I'm going to cut this down. To fit in here it's got to go in between these corner pieces for the legs then I have to do both sides and then I have to make a rig these wheels are going to be in the up position like this when the table saw is down then I uh, then I have to rig it so these wheels come down and lift the table saw up and, st and stay in that position until I release it. So when I come back, I should have these wheels on and I should have that rig. And make sure you watch it to the end to see how I'm gonna use this tire. Once I have this done, I'll be back. All right, this is a little update of what has to be done. This dolly, had a piece that ran across, and then there was another set of wheels on this side. See it moving. The piece in the middle, if you recall, was the piece that was broken. That's what this piece is over here. I cut this piece off, and I had to cut the dolly down to fit in between these wedges. These wedges in the corner, where the legs of the table saw are gonna rest. And I wanted these wheels to fit in where they had enough room to spin around. This way they could go in any direction. If you go too close, you'll only be able to roll it one way. After I cut this piece off, when I hold the dolly up to the side of the new dolly, the wheels aren't touching the ground. But the thickness of the board that ran across is enough that when the wheels are pushed down, It'll raise 
the new dolly up just enough that it could be rolled. So what I'm doing now, I was just going to leave these on top and put a piece in the middle to make up that difference. It's adding an extra step, but what I'm going to do is take the wheels off, like I did on this board. I'm going to use this piece as a template, because on this side, the wheels were cut off. They were all the way to where my hand is located. Now they're going to be back here. And I'm going to put this little piece of wood on the bottom. So this will stay flush like this, but the wheels will be about a half inch lower. And when it's when this dolly's not being used, the wheels will be up. When the dolly's being used, the wheels will be down. But this half inch is enough to raise it off the ground. So that's where I'm at so far. I'm disassembling everything and reconstructing it again. And when I have it assembled, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. This is where that recycled tire comes in. I could have used a bungee cord, but the theme of this channel is recycle, reuse, and repurpose. So this is a strip of the inner wall of the tire. On the end, I used, um, I believe they call it whipping. This is what you generally do at the end of a rope, not to make it fray. Something I learned years back in the Boy Scouts. And what I'm gonna do next is cut this to length, make another loop on this side, use some of that whipping to secure the loop and attach it to the dolly. Once it's done, I'll be back. It's all together, other than a few minor adjustments, we're done. Let me show you what I have. This garage floor is uneven. It may be hard to get a good beat on what's going on. We have the wheels connected to the board on a hinge. When the weight of the table saw is on here, these wheels will go up. Okay. I cut a notch on the bottom of this, kind of crude. I'm not even sure if you need the notch. I just put it there so this piece wouldn't slide back and forth. And the whole idea of this now, when I want to move the table saw around, I could just step on this board. So now this is locked, the table saw could roll in any direction. The table saw is in place and I'm ready to use it. I just have to kick this off. The weight of, this, the, weight of the table saw will push this down. The wheels will come up and will lock in place. So there's no need for any locking wheels because the table saw is gonna be on this wooden frame pulling tight i just used a strip of that old tire and connected it like this this may have to be adjusted i won't know until i put the uh table saw on there and see how it works with the weight of the table saw on it if you don't want to put a lever like this you really don't need it when you, when you push this down you can just push this over by hand or kick it with your foot now another option if you didn't want to go with this lever in this direction would be to have a, a board that would press down on here and under the uh, table saw itself. But I like this option. So I have to try and get that table saw up on here. I'm by myself right now and it's pretty heavy. I'm gonna see if I can get it done. If not, I'm gonna have to wait until I get some help and, and I'll show you the finished product and how it performs with the table saw on it. Okay, there you have it. Other than a little cleanup, and I don't know, maybe give it a paint job. This table saw is about 35 years old. I built a couple of stores with this, uh, all kinds of projects. Unfortunately, the garage I keep it in is so humid. This was never left outside. As a matter of fact, I picked up one for free that was left outside, has less rust than this. But anyway, you can see this rolls and this floor definitely isn't even. It rolls without any problem. And to release it, when you want to lock it in place, just step on it, push the lever over, and it's locked now. Now, this floor's uneven. It's not the wheels that are touching. You can see it rocking. That's the unevenness of the floor. Before I put the table saw on this frame, I did oil all these wheels because it is humid in here. Um, who knows when I'm going to get a chance to do them again. I really don't want to have to take it off to oil the wheels. And that's about it. That's what these spots on the floor are. Stuff finishes dripping and I finish sweeping up in here. 
the sawdust will clean all that up. So this is a pretty easy project to put together. Uh, I don't have measurements on it, all table saws. I don't have measurements for it. Different table saws have different diameters. And I just went by eye. I just held the pieces up, cut one. When I cut one, I measured that and cut the other one to, to the same size. And again, this was made out of all recycled material. The wood is from my pile of pallet wood. The wheels came off of uh, Harbor Freight discarded dolly. The band was from an uh, old tire, sidewall of a tire. The screws I had from another project. Oh, one thing I did have to buy were the hinges. I had a bucket of hinges, but I've used them on several projects. I didn't video them all. If you want, there's a link up above on how I put a trailer together, a boat trailer that I converted to a utility trailer using door hinges so I can make it, um, so I could change it from a utility trailer to a flatbed and so on. If you're interested in seeing that video, the link is right above. So. so now for now that's a wrap if you found this video for now that's a wrap if you found this video useful or have any questions or comments post them down below give it a like be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get my videos as i upload them weekly until until next time stay safe and stay well